Hey, welcome back to Daily Flash. I'm Mitch English. Today is Veterans Day, and we here at Daily Flash, we want to know how important it is to recognize and honor our military veterans. So in doing so, we got a really special treat here. Joining us is U.S. Army veteran Bree Carter, who is now a country singer and musician. Very promising career, and we welcome her to Daily Flash. Hi, Bree. How are you? I'm doing great, Mitch. Thank you. Good morning. Thanks good, for having me. Good morning to you. First off, tell me a little bit more about uh, wh why you decided to kind of uh, move out of the military. Has music always been really influential in your life? Or tell me more about that. You know what? Honestly, music has always been a part of my life since I was a little girl growing up in Louisiana. The church choir, singing. It's like my mom, my grandmother, my aunts, my uncles, everyone would sing. So music was all around me. And, you know, um, at one point when we lived in California, my mom was involved heavily in music as well. And we have distant relatives that are actually well-known musicians. So it was okay. honestly, I think it was just destiny. Oh, I love that. And you know, when you follow your destiny, you bring so much happiness, not only to your life, but you're sharing that happiness with others. And I can tell that's what's going on uh, in, your, in your life. Let me ask you a little bit more about your military service. What was one thing that you really, really learned about in the uh, military and your time at serving? You know what? The military was phenomenal. I'd do it all over again today. For me, the biggest thing was the camaraderie, you know, just the fellowship that you got and that everyone being treated the same in the Army. Everyone was green. You were light green or dark green. You were all green. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there to serve a purpose, you know, to fight for it. You put your, yourself behind and it was fighting for the freedom of freedoms of others. So that was just that was just really, you know, heartfelt to me and just having a purpose in life. All right, we're looking at your pictures here of the time you served. So uh, uh, obviously you could, you, could, you could feel the pride that you have just when you're in a uniform and you're representing something. Uh, bringing that into uh, your now new career as far as uh, country music goes and music and, and, and all together, really, what is really your, your mission with your songs? Uh, specifically, we'll talk, we're about to show some of the video of uh, your latest Stronger Than That. Can you tell us a little bit about what that means to you and where it all came from? Definitely, Mitch. So Stronger Than That was actually my story, how I grew up. Unfortunately, my parents divorced and growing up in a small time, small town, sometimes that could honestly, it could be difficult. But I just wanted the song to really encourage other people that no matter what they've been through, whatever they were going through, that if you hold on and you keep the faith, because I'm, I'm a strong faith person. I'm a God lover. I tell yeah. people, if oh. you hold on to your faith, you can make it and you're stronger than whatever obstacles or whatever labels other people want to put on you. I love that. You know, and imagine by the time you went, you know, you obviously had that musical aspirations and you go into uh, uh, the, the military. And when you come out, was it different, uh, you know, as far as getting your name out and getting your songs out and that sort of thing? You know what? It has been a it's been a long road and it's not over yet. I just keep day to day just being true and authentic to who I am. And I think over a period of time, prayerfully, more people will know me and I'll be able to touch so many lives through my music and encourage people because that's the ultimate goal. It's not just music really soothes me, but it's really about other people. It's not just about me. You're 100% right. And would you find that that same way of thinking is actually much like the military? I mean, it, it, everybody's working together and it's all about a movement instead of just individuality. I completely agree. I mean, it, it takes a village. It takes a nation. No one person can do it alone. And I think when everyone has the mindset of kind of paying it forward and looking out for the next person, their brother or sister, uh -huh. I just think that the world is just a much better place. I, I love that. Now, uh, you did mention that you have some relatives that are in the business and that sort of thing. Who's some of your aspirations? And if you want to drop some names, you're welcome to do so. Okay, well, I grew up loving and listening to uh, the late Miss Patsy Cline. Oh, yeah. Uh, the late, great Miss Loretta Lynn, unfortunately. The late, great Miss um, Aretha Franklin. Hint, hint. Um, <laughs> not only that, but honestly, the Temptations. I grew up listening to a lot of country, soul, rock. I just was a lover of music. And um, Blue, that was one of the members of the Temptations, he was a distant cousin. So, you know, that was always in my, my mom, my aunts, and whenever they, they used to perform, they used to always do family gatherings and stuff like that. So I knew that, honestly, Music was was a part of me, and I just wanted to release it to the world. I love that. And if folks want to hear you, where are you performing, uh, say, uh, coming up in uh, December, end of November? Where, where can folks find you? Well, stay tuned for the Vanderbilt game on this Friday. Okay. Uh, on today. Actually, yeah. I'm going to be singing the national anthem on today. Oh, and in awesome. addition to that, um, December, I'm going to be performing in Belleville at a place called The Venue. 
And hey, if you guys want to book me, reach out, BreeCarter.com. I'm available. And stay tuned. Super Bowl actually may be in the future. It's maybe some of the musical festivals that's going to take place in February. Maybe you can find me on one of those Ooh, stages. Oh, I love that. So glad to uh, uh, have you here on the show, Bree. And of course, Obviously today, very special day. Thank you for your service. Thank you for what you're doing. And thank you for sharing your, your passion, which is music. We're gonna head out to break uh, with your latest. It's called Stronger Than That. And we appreciate you being on the show. If you wanna find out more information on Bree, just go to Bree Carter. Now Bree spelled B-R-E-I Carter.com. You'll be able to find it here. Stronger Than That. Thank you so much for joining us, Bree.